me, myself, I was just, uh, just that nervous excitement, anxiety, that you, know, you want everything to go well. I remember the doctor telling me to have my hand on Chris's belly and uh, told me to keep feeling for the contractions and I was like, I'd sit there and I'd wait. And finally the doctor would be like, she's having a contraction. I was like, I don't feel it, I can't feel it. <laughs> How am I supposed to know when she's having a contraction? As a man signed up point of view, you're kind of helpless. I mean, I mean, you really, you're there, but you don't have a you whole lot. You just You're really, yeah, you're just there for your support, but you're... I told my mom, definitely, just get me a shot. I'm going back home, just going to stay pregnant. Wonderful drugs. Yeah. Then, yeah. Um, then I also said that I was going to have a cesarean because I, that, it just, the size of everything started adding up and um, that wasn't working for me, so. I was pretty calm, if I remember the whole time. I was pretty excited, couldn't wait to see him. See what was kicking me and rumbling around all the time, but. I mean, the one time the guy came, you know, Tia's word out pass out. We were, we were the second couple. There was another couple going before us having a C-section. And they went, and we were waiting in a little waiting room for our turn, and they left. And then the husband came back on the stretcher. And I was like, Matt, don't do that to me. <laughs> and so he did. He did. He was good. He was good. That's what I told Tina. So if somebody from our church was there on November 6th that day, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I knew all along that I didn't want to have any pain medications with either or with, with Emily. So, you know, Matt was up by my head trying to give me support and I don't know, I did like a, a choke hold on me, yeah. kind of like this. It's, Every time I... Well, I let me interject here. <laughs> it started off just, you know, me being beside her, holding her hand, <laughs> to put, you know, being comforting her. And then it wasn't before long that almost turned into uh, a WWE arm bar. <laughs> Had me bent over the table beside her, and then it went into like a headlock type thing. And so there was no way that, you know, if here she was going through birth here with not even a drop of pain medicine. So not like I could complain about my back bothering me. <laughs> so, but, so she had me in a really uncomfortable <laughs> position for I don't know how long, but during almost the entire process, I was bent over the bed, bed with this arm bar, neck thing going on. And so we got through, the, got through all that, but then later you know, she basically threw my back out. So then that night, I mean, I couldn't walk. So I was having to crawl on all fours around the hospital room <laughs> Because, because I couldn't walk. <laughs> and you actually had to go in the next room on the hospital bed. <laughs> yeah, they, they let me stay in the room next door because it was empty. So I could go in there and actually sit down and lay down if I needed to. It was, it was pretty neat. And, and getting to experience it all. And it's, it's awesome. It's, there's nothing like it. I mean... I know from my point of view, I'm sure hers was a little different, but... I was really amazed about how some, a person that I'd never met, how I was like in love with him and um, that I would automatically do anything for him, fight for him, die for him, anything. I mean, the love that you feel for your child is, no one can explain that to you. Um, until you experience it. Until you, you experience it for life. yourself, yeah. It's just amazing and different than anything you can imagine. I actually, I had Alex and I loved him so much that I was worried, and when, when I found out we were, we were pregnant with Rebecca, I was worried that I couldn't love another being as much as I loved him. I mean, I found out that was just a mother's love. You know, after I had Rebecca and after I had Katie, it's just, I loved him the same. But it's an unexplainable, just from your soul, love that you have for a child. Yeah, it is an amazing experience to hold this little life. I mean, it is. It's. I think my dear say it all. Mm -hmm. I love my babies.